like this with the tiny coat, y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to have a great time tonight. We're out here at Beasley Creek Hunting Camp. We're going to be doing our third Camp Dog Outdoor Cooking segment. Tonight we have with us Papa Butch. We're going to put him as head Camp Dog. We have uh, Chris Artigo. Chris is going to be our head chef. Chris always brings a crowd when he's cooking. Um, Chris has several awards for his recipes including a grand champion at the Smoked Meat Festival in Bill Flat. So uh, Chris is going to be cooking up some catfish. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's go see what they're doing. We're getting our onions and greens cut up for our fish. Then we're fixing to cook in just a little bit. And we got to cook all of this, cut all this up first, before we get started with the, the gravy for the fish. And we promise a good turnout. Yeah, we're down to the parsley. That's the last little bit that I have. The good for the gravy tonight. It's going to be uh, all these ingredients are going to be in that pot after a while. And we'll be having us a beer. A beer? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, we're here at Beasley Creek Hunting Club cooking a little pot of spotted cat, aka. Goujon Kai, Mud Cat, Yellow Cat, Opelousas Cat, it's all the same cat, okay? That's what we do. We're going to start off with a little butter in the pot. I like to use a whole stick, but all I have is two half sticks right here, so two halves make a hole, right? That's what I'm talking about. Two halves make a hole. So we got two half sticks of butter, make a hole. Let's crank up the fire a little bit. All right. Fire is on. In a, in a minute, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the picture right here, and we're gonna we're gonna probably put in two large onions. We're gonna put in one whole bell pepper, and we got parsley and green onions. I I like to put my parsley in a little early, and then my green green onions when I put my fish in, and then we're gonna cook it. I'm not a cold packer. I like to cook my gravy first and then add my fish, because I'm not a I don't like crunchy onions so. It's just my recipe. While we away, whole crap hole, Mr. Butch, he was cutting all the onions and all that. This is two large onions. I'm not going to probably put all of it, but I'm going to put most of it. Okay, we go with the onions first. Yes, I did wash my hands. I sure did. Get the onions in there. And we're going to go with the, we're going to go with the bell pepper. And he did a fine job chopping that real fine. He does a fine job with that. Every time we cook at the camp. This is Beasley Creek Hunting Club, by the way. If we need new members, we might have to, you know, advertise and take some in. We cook some good food over here. So we got two large onions and one bell pepper right here. We're making a little sauce with a sort of sauce. Like I said, I like to cook my onions down, saute them a little bit. My onions are getting a little clear and wilted. So are my bell peppers, so I'm adding a little parsley right now. And we're gonna put like half the parsley. I'm gonna save half the parsley for when we put the fish in. So we're gonna stir this a little while and we'll be right back to y'all in a little while. Okay, now the onions are sauteed. We're getting re ready to add the other ingredients to finish our sauce before we add the fish, okay? One whole can of tomato sauce. Put the whole can, no hold back. I'm gonna show you a little secret. You might think it turned out red, but it's not gonna be red. Cream of shrimp, whole can. Make your sauce very, very good. It's 
at it, we stir it a little bit. The gravy's gonna be real, real light. Man, that's looking good. Put that on a piece of bread, as Myron would say. So now I'm gonna add some camp dog seasoning to the fish. We're gonna sprinkle that, you know, generously. Very, very generously. I'm gonna put the, the fish in the pot. You always gotta put the heads on the bottom. Always. Put the heads on the bottom. I think I have one more head. Yes, I do. And the rest of it is gonna go. I'm gonna all fit it in. It's all gonna be good. Woo, this is looking good. And that's pretty. Once I get a layer in here, I'm going to take some, some gravy flour, just a little bit. Some people like to use regular flour. This probably is a little bit better once, once the water gets out the fish. Put us another little layer. Shove it in there. Make sure we get everything good. Should we rub the bottom of the pot and all that with camp dough? Okay, now after the fish is in there, we put a little greens on top. You gotta have the greens. They're all gonna go in there. We're gonna stir all that in when we put that up. We're gonna put that on the braise. On the braise. No, let's just put it all. We just gonna put it all. It's all gonna be pretty. Alright, now that we added the fish in, we brought the pot over here to the fire. This grill that, that Mr. Crapo made, or Mr. Butch, this is what we used to cook the fish in. We're gonna cook this for probably an hour, hour and 10 minutes. It's gonna, it's probably gonna get up to about 18 bubbles a minute, or maybe 16 bubbles a minute. If it gets too hot, you just bring the grill up. But make sure that you keep it on a low fire, and make sure that it don't boil too hard, because then you're gonna ruin your fish. This is what it's going to look like now, and then after a while, you'll see, Woo! man, that's going to be pretty. Okay, this is about an hour into the sauce, on the braise, little bloop, 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 and it's almost over. We're going to turn it off, we're going to put it on the stove, and we're going to serve. And a big day for the Brits. Good job. Oh, man, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, Come on, my friend. Yeah, Well, it's a